here are some more examples of centripetal force the door to the gravitron close and it starts to spin you are pushed against the outer edge of the right and pin there you must be experiencing centrifugal force throwing you outward from the right right as you know that gravitron is moving in a circle and it is experiencing a centripetal force due to it so centripetal force the reaction of the centripetal force is a centrifugal force and due to that centrifugal force you are striking with the wall of the gravitron then you can easily move in a circle and you will not fall down here is the reason as the gravitron starts to spin friction between your body and the right starts to moving once you are moving, your body wants to go straight, but you cannot. The walls push you back in towards the center of the right, F of C. So, we see this is the, we see that you want to move, but F of C that you are compelled to move. So, this F of C is the proper centripetal force. Vertical circles. From here can see f of n and this weight w f of n is the normal force f of c is equal to fw minus f of n and f of n is equal to mg minus mv square divided by r for the ferris wheel the only difference occurs at the top where the seat is facing upward the top f of c is equal to fw minus fn and from here fn equals mg minus mb square by r this equation is also for a car passing over the top of a curve and for bottom f of c equals fn minus fw so fn is equal to mv square over r plus mg On an unbanked curve, the static frictional force provides the centripetal force. That's why a car can easily move in a circle without the bank. This is the death well where car is moving. Car can easily move in a death well because of the centripetal force. In this case, a girl is driving a motorcycle in a death well. So she is also getting the proper centripetal force from the death well. So that is the end.